Hi, and welcome to my video on how to use Loom for your online course video recording and for team project communication and collaboration. I'm going to talk about why I like Loom, how I'm using Loom, and then go right into the demo. First of all, Loom is a great video recording and screencasting tool. So that means two things where I can record myself from my computer camera, I install a separate camera, and it'll ask me to choose which camera I want to use to record a video. I can also so install different microphones and have Loom tell me and ask me which microphone that I want to use to record the video as well. So the cool thing is I can record videos like I am doing now, but I can also record demo videos where uh, there you'll see later on in the video that my face is in a little bubble and it's in the corner of the screen. I can move it around while I'm demoing something or explaining a concept. So there is a lot of flexibility and there's a lot of different ways that I can use Loom when I'm working on projects and for my video recording. So when I'm recording a video for an online course, I can have this record my camera, my face, but I can also have this recording my screen as well. The other reason I like to use Loom is when I'm collaborating on a project, hiring a freelancer, I can send a video message by using Loom and I'll show you later how you can collaborate with different team members. And so it makes it really easy because a lot of times when we tend to communicate, we'll send an email or we'll leave a comment on a Google Doc or a Word document. And that is effective and doable, but video really takes your communication to the next level, especially on a project. It allows for more context, allows the person to understand and see your facial reaction, your tone, uh, your smile, <laughs> for example. So it provides more context and tone all to your communication in a way that emails leave out. Now I want to give you a demo and overview of my Loom library and show you some of the different features that make it really outstanding as a recording, as a workflow tool, and for video. Video collaboration. At the end, I want to talk a little bit about pricing and discuss what the different pricing options are to help you decide what's best for you and your business. So this is my Loom library. It's organized into a personal library and then videos that are shared with me and then videos for specific team members. Uh, I have added six team members for different projects so that I can organize the videos into different folders for different teams rather than leaving it all into my personal library. The way I use Loom is mainly for video collaboration. So when I'm working with clients and when I've hired freelancers to help me and and all the videos that I record usually get stored into a personal library. Now, if I'm working on an ongoing project with a client or with a freelancer, then I'll put them into the team uh, folders and specifically record videos into team folders. But when I'm recording demo videos or if I'm working on a one-off consultation with a client for them, if I don't need a team library for them, I keep all my videos here in my personal library. I started to organize them because I've been using Loom for over a year and it's gotten a little bit overwhelming with the number of videos in my library. So I've begun to organize things into VA category, uh, website category, and my own personal workflow uh, weekly uploads to YouTube. And so the cool thing is that this is my personal library. And let's just take a look at a video that I recently recorded to show you. I wanted to give you a preview of what happens when you record it. So with each video, if I click on this, I have the option to always share it, archive it, delete it, or move it to different folders. So this is a video I recorded for YouTube. And so as you can see, I have the option to share it. So if I wanted to send this to my video editor to give them a preview, click on share and then add their email and they can. Now this is similar to the way Google Drive is set up or any cloud service is set up similarly. If I add them to here, I can also import them from Slack. But if I add them here, I think they have the option to either view and members in my workspace can view or only people added can access. So this is what's nice is because if I didn't change the settings, then anyone with the link could view it. And maybe I don't necessarily want to have everyone that has access to the link to view it. Maybe I only want it restricted to people in my workspace or only certain people can be added to access this video. So that helps me control the privacy and security of this video. And they also give me uh, more options to either protect this video with a password. So let's just say it's very confidential, then I can a password to this video so that only people with that password can see it. And then I've disabled search engine indexing because I don't want this video to be searchable because it's not ready to be public yet. Or maybe it's a private 
private client. And then once I've checked that these settings are to my liking, I can copy the link and send it directly to the client, or I can go back to share and add people to this specific video access. I can also publish this video to social media. I can even, where I like, this is really powerful and this is really, it saves me a lot of time is I can embed it directly into Gmail and I'll pull up a screenshot to show you. And so what happens if I embed it directly into my Gmail, if I'm writing an email and I'm composing an email in Gmail and I embed my Loom video specifically, the video will show up. And so that makes it nice when someone is receiving an email from me that they can watch the video directly in Gmail without having to go to Loom or click on the... I can even choose to embed it. This is really powerful. If I'm working on a blog or if I'm creating documentation videos, I can copy the embed code and then paste it directly into a website so that this shows up on a blog or it shows up in a different documentation site so that the video supports the documentation. And so that's what I really like about Loom. It really allows you to take video collaboration and video recording to the next level. The cool thing also uh, when you choose to go with a paid plan is you can review your transcript. So if you are doing this, if you are publishing this video to a blog or YouTube or even embedding it for documentation, having closed captioning is really important for accessibility reasons. And so when I review my transcript, I can choose from different options to have all the different filler words removed and they give me different settings to have the text and audio filler words removed or I can remove it from the text transcript only or if I don't want to remove it I can choose to do not remove. It really is up to you. It's helpful if you're publishing this video for others to watch to remove filler words so that it is a little bit more tighter. Now if I didn't want to share directly from Loom I can always copy the link and uh, paste it into an email that I'm composing and send it directly to the other option. If I don't like this video, I can delete it. I can also download it if I want to send it to a video editor. I can also move it to a different folder for organizational purposes and or archive it. What I really love about Loom is the collaboration. So I can add a description and then I can add, as I watch the video, I can comment on different timestamps. So I can comment right here and say, awesome job and then leave a comment. So I've left another comment and then I can delete the comment if I think, oh, it didn't really convey my message. I can also choose to reply and leave a comment and then it'll also give me the option to record a Loom reply. And so I really like that Loom is encouraging and fostering collaboration and video collaboration throughout this entire process. It's much easier than sending an email where, where words can get lost. A video is really powerful, it's engaging, it has more context, you can hear the voice, you can see the person. And then this is the neat thing, as you can see my recording bubble has this winter uh, like winter colors decorated around the recording bubble. But this is something that Loom has added, so if I go to my settings here, I can choose from uh, different recording style bubbles. I can choose from customizing and changing the background of my recording uh, bubble or I can also choose to frame it. So right now I don't have a background. I didn't change the background because my background is a solid color but if you were working in an apartment and you have a lot of stuff in the background that you didn't want people to get distracted you could definitely take advantage of a blur or different recording backgrounds to hide your background and go with a solid color or solid design. I'm not going to choose any background because mine's a solid color. I'm really working on making my videos a little bit more clear. And then I've chosen this winter wreath, but I can choose winter fun. I can choose celebrate. I can play around with different uh, frames and it really is nice because like today in New York City it is snowing and so I've chosen this winter wreath for this current weather setting. And it makes, it helps me get into the mood of thinking about how I can make my videos a little bit more fun, a little bit more personalized. The other thing that I really liked about the recording bubble tool is that I can customize the size. So right now I am using this small bubble size, but if I really wanted to make a point and have my face much more present in my uh, video, I can choose to go with a bigger frame. So now you see my face is a lot bigger and then I can even go even more bigger. I'll show you, it's neat and take up more of the screen than I have before. And so all this is designed to enhance the video recording process. I really like it because it gives you so many different options and this bubble can be moved around the screen. I have in the past gotten kind of shy about moving it, but now I'm getting more comfortable with Loom, so I'm learning to adjust the screen, move the bubble according to what I'm showing on my screen. The other thing I wanted to show you was the team library. <coughs> 
So this is my team library. What I've done with the team library is I set up different folders for different projects. And let's look at this uh, one as an example. So what I can do is I'm working with a designer on YouTube thumbnails. What I've done is create a folder specifically for all the thumbnails that are being created. And so what I'm going to do is as I get thumbnails, I'm going to record a video reply. What is really nice is that I can record a video directly into this folder. So I'll click on new video and then I can record a video or if I've used some other tool to record, then I can upload a video in here. It makes it really easy to collaborate. So let's say this is my video thumbnails uh, folder and video editing project. I'm going to put everything in here so the designer and the editor can see what I'm working on and follow along. And so it makes it really transparent and really easy for people to find the specific files that they need. So one of the caveats with the team library is that let's just say you've added uh, a few people to your team like I have with mine. The one challenge is that this whole team folder is accessible. All these folders are accessible to everyone in your team. So if you wanted to hide certain folders from certain team members because you're not ready for them to see it yet, there's no way to hide it. Uh, it would be more ideal to keep it in your personal library and then either have a password or restrict some of the settings uh, so that it's limited to only certain people that you share with via email. So that's one of the challenges with uh, using the team library. But otherwise, I think if that's not if it's not an issue, then this makes it really effective to collaborate and to communicate and also to organize your work. The other thing I wanted to show you that I really liked about Loom is the draw tool. Uh, so I can really enhance my videos when I'm uh, recording. What, so drawing really makes my videos a little bit more effective. So when I'm teaching something, I want to highlight this point or I can highlight this point. And then it makes it a lot more impactful than it was before without the drawing. And so then I can choose from different colors. I can choose from different pen styles. But, but I just wanted to show you that as an example of that. Uh, when you're teaching and using this as a demo tool, there's a lot more ways that you can make your videos more effective besides just talking in your camera. You can annotate and leave comments. And then the last thing I want to talk about is pricing. Loom is really affordable. Uh, it starts off with a free plan. Uh, so with a free plan, the time limit is capped at five minutes and uh, you can have up to 25 videos and uh, add up to 50 light on your team. And so the creator's light is basically anyone who can on your team that can be added. They can see different folders. You can give them access to record video replies directly into your folder as well. Now, their starter plan or the free plan can be limiting because it is capped at five minutes. So if you're recording demo videos or making documentation videos, you may find that five minutes isn't enough. And so that's where the business plan was really affordable at $8 a month and it gives you unlimited recording. And as I said, you can use it uh, from the Chrome extension. You can use it from this desktop app as you see here. And it shows up here as well so that, that you can always just click on this icon and it'll launch Loom. What I really like is that Loom is very affordable at $8 a month. You also get a 14 day free trial. You can get unlimited videos, unlimited recording. And the bonus is the transcript and closed captioning. It also removes the filler words. And that's really important in this digital age where we do a lot of collaboration and video recording to make everything that we do very accessible for different needs and different learners. And it's important in the digital age to make everything that we do as accessible as possible. And so the transcripts and filler word removal is really a nice perk. And at $8 a month, you can't beat that for a software. You can always cancel. I have the annual plan because I use this very often. And I really find it powerful in terms of collaboration, in terms of recording videos. And it gives me a lot of different options to customize my frame. And it's really fun. And I really think video messaging and video collaboration is uh, the future versus emails. So that is an overview on Loom. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback or what your experiences are. There is an affiliate link below. Uh, you can check it out and sign up and give it a try.